So in the old man, I had to stop it and start over. So the phoenix that rises from the ashes, when we die, we become like ashes in the ground, right? So the phoenix and his fallen ones um, uh, and the demons possess people. Jesus said, Satan, get behind me for your own offense. You come from man's perspective, not God's, right? He also said um, there are unclean spirits, a league of demons. I mean, a legion of demons was in one guy. He was possessed. Demons come into people. If you go into a haunted house, some people say that they felt something come into them. Well, that's a demon entering you. And you may not have even said you can enter me, right? So to judge whether or not someone is good or evil, um, we have to discern, are they evil because <clears throat> something else is in them and they're disobeying God and getting into God's woman, the old flesh that God created good in the beginning? Um, and they're messing with God's flesh. Well, it, by listening to Satan, Adam and Eve allowed that entrance in. And so the bitter waters, those who had rebelled the Dead Sea, got into God's living sea and made it bitter waters. So we're all made up of waters. Life is in the blood. There's water in our blood, like a spirit is the way I'm understanding it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and that spirit, when we die, goes somewhere. It returns to, to God. All spirits that were, um, life was breathed into man, and then we became a living soul, uh, like, a, like a soul. And so when our spirit had died, because we, we missed the mark, we didn't obey, and we ate of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and I don't want to go too much into that because it's philosophy of man can get you in a lot of trouble. So I try to stick to the word of God and understanding the word of God the way God has shown me by his spirit. So animal skin was put over us to preserve us. We, put, we tried to cover ourselves. The masons, Jesuits, and Shriners, fraternities, and sororities try to cover themselves with good works. But they're naked, they're blind, and they're deaf. Because they have not received the love of the truth, the cornerstone, Jesus Christ. They reject the cornerstone. They're masons, craftsmen. Um, they are the craft. They have the craft, which is type, witchcraft. Um, they're a, the, some of them are Dan, right? Dan is a serpent, by the way. They haven't believed. They are part of the Roman Catholic Empire, the Vatican, the dragon. <clears throat> and they listen to him and do his will. Um, and the beast is the government that they ride, right? Um, I'm learning that that beast also can be the old man, the, the corrupted flesh, because the corrupted flesh can have be possessed. That's why we needed new flesh. We needed Jesus so that the Holy Spirit can come in and have a, a right relationship with God, Um we could hear God before because it was both, right? So, um, and this is, I don't want to get it too deep into this because it's just about knowing Christ in order to have that new creature, which is found only in Christ Jesus. Um, that new creature is the new flesh and bone. Adam and Eve were flesh and bone. The blood is like a record. It's like a, your life. Life is in the blood. Um, is that the spirit? Um, God is teaching me these things. And um, I don't know all things. And we see through a glass dimly. But I do know that that life that we had been given by God was good. But it fell and it became corrupted. The new life found in his son only is perfect and holy, holy, holy. And since we have a holy, holy God, we need to be like God in order to be with God. He made us good. We doesn't make us God. We are not God sitting in the temple of God, proclaiming ourselves to God. No, we're proclaiming Jesus Christ to be God. And he, Christ, sits in our temple, in his temple. We belong to him. We're possession of God. We're his woman. 
Um, and the vine that is Jesus, the household of God, the one house of God, has many lamps. That's the menorah. Um, the lamps, are, the oil is, is uh, anointing. That anointing needs to come from God. And the, the spirit, the spirit of truth has to come from God. Um, but you need to have the oil in order to get that. You need to be of the root and the offspring of David, of Jesse, sorry, which is Jesus. He's the only one. He is also the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is Judah. He's the law. And he says he will have mercy on whom he will have mercy, right? Um, and so the law is a schoolmaster to point to the perfection of Christ. And that's found in the son. He's God. We're not God. We're his creation. We're the woman, a creation, created beings. When we are born again, we become more than a creation. We become new creatures in Christ new creatures in God. We become children of God, it says in the word of God. First fruit from the dead. So being in Christ, you're like a child of God. Like, remember I'm saying like, become part of Israel, grafted in Israel, which is found, is in Christ. The, the vine is him and the anointing that comes up in that tree because he is the tree of life. And we are the branches. If you are original remnant of the, this, this, the, um, the seed and offspring of Jesse, then you're of that old, old creation is the way I'm understanding it. And Jesus is the new creation, right? The new Adam, the perfect man the man made in God's image. Since the image that God had created fell from that image by listening to another instead of listening to the perfect holy God, the law, um, he, we needed a covering. We needed a covering and God provided that by putting animal skin over us and putting us outside the paradise of God. Adam and Eve were in the paradise of God and when Jesus died on the cross, he said, today you will be with me in paradise. Whether that was the time he got the resurrected body, I don't think so. I think his spirit went to heaven because then Jesus resurrected his body. So that man on the cross did not receive that resurrected heavenly body until Jesus had his body to provide that resurrected body, which is Je Jesus's body, Christ's body. He is the Christ, the Messiah. He is the not only the anointed one, which we become anointed by God, but he is the vine that you must be taken out of, the flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone. If you do not believe in him, the work of God for your salvation and the remission of the sins and the author and perfecter of your faith, you're trying to build your own temple. You can't do it. You want to let Jesus build that temple because that's God building it. And that's why I told him, I said, I don't want to be found with anything but the covering of Christ. I didn't want to be found in Christ, God. And when I said those things and I turned and I, I repented, it was a type of repentance. I'm a, I was telling God I was sorry for all the things I ever did. Did I remember every little thing I did? No, because there's a lot of things on my record. But I don't have my record anymore, even though the, my record is in my blood. Like Peter said, he says, he said, my, my record, uh, my sins are ever before me. And the demons use that knowledge because guess what? They can come into you and use it against you. So anyone who's being condemned by demons, but you're a child of God by faith, because that's this, that's, those are the children of Abraham by faith, Save by faith, not of yourself, lest any man should boast. Jesus is the only one that can boast, but he is God. Emmanuel, God with us. Um, so he is the son of God also. So anyone who re rejects that, just read First John. It says anyone who denies the father and the son. And the 144,000 have the father and the son. And they're here right now. Anyone who says the book of Revelation isn't for now, they're probably coming from Rome and trying to make you not see the truth. Because if you see the truth by the spirit of truth, 
led by God, then you will see that we are at the time where we're about to see some pretty interesting things. Um, where our faith will become sight. That's about to happen. And God will put down all of the enemy. So don't be afraid. And don't think that just because you're remembering part of your record. Well, that's our life. It's in our blood. We're living in this flesh and blood body. But no flesh and blood will inherit the kingdom of God. When Jesus died, he poured out his blood and his, his uh, blood and water. That was being born of a woman here in earth. Born in a womb of a woman. Making him part of um, this place. But he poured out. He drained the water, uh, the bitter waters. He never, he had living waters. He never listened to the bitter waters. He never listened to those spirits. He never listened to man. He never listened to, to the spirits that lied to him or tried to lie to him or try to tempt him. He never listened to them. So the living waters went back up to heaven. And the words that he spoke went back up to heaven. But he gave the words to his apostles. And that's why they're the foundation. You know, we got to stand on, on Jesus, the rock the cornerstone and the foundation that he he laid, God laid, because Jesus said, the words I speak are not my own, but the Father's. So he, God laid the, the foundation. That does not mean Jesus is not God. Jesus is God too. Agape love needs two, the Father and the Son. They're both male. And Jesus said he sends the Spirit from the Father. So we've got the male, God, and the female, the woman, the create creation of God. And when you see this, it's it's absolutely amazing. Um, and we have a king, Israel. Those of you who are Israel, you have a king. His name is Jesus Christ. He came for Israel, the lost tribes of Israel. They were lost. And when you believe, you're found. Um, okay, so my point about the phoenix rising. So every time someone dies... They leave that body, the unclean spirits, and they come and they find another place to rest in. That's, that's a person to dem demonically possess them. Whether the person opens up doors or doesn't open up doors because children become possessed and they didn't open up any doors. It's the, it's the fall of man. The door came open for, in Adam for the enemy. And when you have the Passover lamb and the blood on your doorposts, you've eaten of the lamb, the word of God. You've eaten of the word of Christ, actually, Jesus Christ's words. The new covenant, you're under the new covenant. The blood is over your doorposts and those spirits cannot get into the kingdom, into the new man. Your flesh Peter said it perfectly. He said, in me dwelleth no good thing. That is in my flesh. So the flesh is enmity towards God. And the flesh needed to be crucified in Christ, the lamb that was spotless and perfect and holy. The only one that could do it at the right time when Rome was ruling. and Because the, the priests could not kill, right? Apparently they couldn't kill. I think in secret... They're, they're the hypocrites, the, the leaven of the, um, the leaven of the Pharisees is hypocrisy. We don't see what they do in secret. They do one thing in front of everybody, but there's all the stuff they do in secret. So the way that I'm understanding it is those spirits have entrance into us, which angels are supposed to be ministering spirits. They're not supposed to be destroying God's creation. And that's what the cherubim and his fallen angels who think they want to rule over God's creation, his woman, try to rule over them in every way, shape, or form. By sitting in authority in governments here on earth or getting in your brain or your body or your heart to get into your brain. The whole, it says that they rush into the kingdom, right? They, everyone rushes into the kingdom. So after you're born again saint, they try to rush in the kingdom to steal the word that God has given you, Christ and him crucified. 
And when they try to steal that word, it's dangerous.